everyone. I It's been a while since I made a video. I have a new camera, um, so I'm giving it a, a try to see if this works better because I haven't had much luck with the other ones. But um, I have a recent, per I did a recent purchase um, a couple weeks back and I wanted to share uh, my overall thoughts with you. And it's actually on an, a bag I haven't purchased since like the 1990s. <laughs> and it's actually, um, this one is a Fendi. Um, it's the tobacco, which is almost like a nylon canvas um, Zuka bag. And I purchased this from the outlets in New York, um, out in New York, the Woodbury outlets. Um, and there's, there's no, there's just a very brief description, just says shoulder bag, Zuka, calf leather, tobacco. Um, and the item number is 304378. And I don't know if this camera will zoom in, but... Um, and this, there's actually two sizes, and this is the smaller of the two sizes. And it is, I absolutely, I, I what was it about? A little over a year ago, I had seen this bag somewhere, and I can't remember exactly where, and I'm like, oh, I love that bag. It's so cute. And it has a really nice, um, beautiful leather cross, adjustable crossbody strap. So I have it the second to last setting, and I'm about 5'5". Five five. So it does sit very nicely just below my hip, which is what I like. It has a back um, slip pocket, and my phone fits in there nicely, and you could fit something else in there. So I don't like to overstuff it, so I just keep my cell phone in there, easy access. Um, and it does have a closure, um, almost like magnetic, a magnetic snap type closure. And the front detailing says Fendi. And I still have the plastic on it. <laughs> I haven't taken that off yet. Um, the inside, it just has one pocket, which I keep my iPod, I always get this mixed up. <laughs> I wanna say an iPad, but it's an iPod Nano. Um, and it's the pink one and I have a clear case on it. So I just keep that in the back pocket. And the uh, measurements, so from the depth side to side is about four and a half. So it does hold a generous amount. Um, the height is about eight inches from top, I would say from the middle from here down, it's about eight inches. And across is about nine inches. So this is a, a decent size bag. I've been carrying it for a little over three weeks now, and the only reason why I'm switching out is with work, we're starting to carry more. I need to carry more files, so I'm just gonna switch out of it for a little bit. So I wanted to give a review overall. Um, I don't have any cons on it. I've been I've seen this bag for over a year, and then when I went to the outlet, I just happened to have my um, gift card that my group had given to me for Christmas. It was like a Visa gift card, and I just had it sitting in my wallet, and I'm looking at the bag, and I'm like, oh, I think it's time. <laughs> so I ended up purchasing it, um, and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that I did purchase it, and this is, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did mention it. It is the smaller of the two sizes. The other one is a little bit bigger. I would say it's about maybe this much wider, um, but I felt on me, just it was too big at that point I would just carry a regular size bag um, but I just wanted something small this is great for the weekends your hands free shopping and stuff or you know just running around um, so I just want to show you what I, I'm carrying inside of it this is the Louis Vuitton round coin um, holder and I just keep my earbuds in here or uh, yeah my earbuds <laughs> sorry it's been a long day <laughs> and um, I used to have the Louis Vuitton pen holder and I sold it for because I once I had purchased this, I found that this holds more pens. Um, it can ha this can ha hold up to about five pens, um, where the Louis Vuitton one holds about two to three. And I just felt like it has that pop of color. And the company, I think it's pronounced Lourige. It's L A U R I G E, and they're located in the UK. And they're actually on eBay. That's where I purchased this, and this was like forty dollars. And it's all leather and I love it it has when I'm trying to find a pen I just look for the pink <laughs> and I grab it and it, this is Louis Vuitton eyeglass reader case but it actually holds my sunglasses these are just Tommy Bahama ones and they're polarized and that and I picked these up at TJ Maxx um, so I have a few I have a pair of Tom Fours a pair of Dittas that are regular but when I had seen these I'm like oh let me just pick these up they're $16 or something 
but they're polarized. I never had polarized lenses, but now that I have them, I can't go back to the regular ones. It makes like such a huge difference. And this is a Mulberry French wallet. Um, so this fits in very nicely. The only, um, the one thing I like about this compact wallet is it, this does hold a full size wallet, but you have to kind of go like put, put it in this way and adjust it. This is just pulled in and out because there's enough room. So I do like that and it carries a lot. So I love, I enjoy carrying that. This is the Louis Vuitton toiletry case, um, size 15. So this is like the little baby one. <laughs> I love them. I started off with the 19. Um, I purchased pre-loved and then, um, and then as I became more obsessed with makeup, I don't want to say obsessed with makeup, as I started to grow my makeup collection, I should say, I needed the 26. Um, and then for little bags like this one, I thought the 15 was really cute. And this one I did purchase pre-loved from um, actually a wonderful friend of mine. So she was gracious enough to sell it to me. So I just have um, a pack of gum, a Chanel lipstick, and this is the color number 59. Rouge Coco Shine, and the name is Elise. And this is just kind of like a, a new pinkish berry color. Um, this is a Clinique Super Ball Moisturizing Gloss. Uh, this is number 16 Black Honey. I really like that one. Um, and this is just one of those uh, pocket back from um, Bath and Body Works. And this is the scent, Beautiful Day. And my friend made me a rosary bead um, necklace, so I just keep it in here and I keep it in my bag for good luck. And this is a Revlon. They're, it's like a little travel size set and it's little tweezers that I carry with me. Um, and just like a hand sanitizer wipe. And... And I just have, um, this is a Hello Kitty Ziploc, and I've had this bag forever, but what I do is when I buy scratch-offs or lottery tickets, I stick them in here so the, the scratch-off um, debris doesn't rub off and um, go around in my bag. It, it contains it to that. And then there's just this one slip pocket here. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark inside, um, but I keep my iPod in there. I'm so tempted to see iPad. I'm so sorry. So this is the tag, it says Fendi, and on the back it has the serial number. And there's also the hologram sticker inside. Um, let me feel for it, here it is. So it, there's a cloth tag, it says Fendi. Um, you guys can see. And then there is the hologram in there. Where is it? Is it in here? This is my hologram sticker. Maybe not. No, they could probably could give him another bag then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nope, there's no hologram sticker. Um, so when I purchased it from the outlet, it came in this um, yellow box. And it's not very, it's not the sturdiest type. It's kind of flimsy. And it's just like a magnetic closure. Um, so it's just like a pop kind that you open it. And they wrapped it in tissue paper, but it wasn't wasn't anything like you get from Chanel. <laughs> um, so I'm holding on to the box. You know, I keep other things in there, like receipts or extra dust bags or whatnot. So overall, I do love the bag. I highly recommend it. Um, and you can adjust the settings for the strap for different ways. Um, and I like, I just love this bag and I get so many compliments on it. And I think the reason why I love it so much is um, back in the 90s, my friend had purchased, um, back when they were like that, uh, the harder canvas, um, she had purchased a bag similar in size, but it had the stripes. And I remember it was kind of like the A, um, a shape on that side, like just how like this is and it had the flap. And I always thought it was the cutest bag ever. And then... Um, when I had gone to purchase it, I had went to Europe. My mom took me um, backpacking through Europe, but we went like student style, <laughs> where you stayed in such, um, like it, you stayed in pensions, where it was just almost like a room and a bathroom, that was it. It wasn't like a hotel or anything. Like you're pretty much backpacking across Europe. 
And I remember I wanted to buy the bag in Europe, so I go to Europe and they didn't have that style there. It was only, I think at the time, just in the US. <laughs> so I ended up purchasing something else and there's Cassie smelling the camera. So I just wanted to share um, this bag with you. If you have any questions, feel free to message me below. And um, I try my best to write back, but it's something where if I'm not logged into a regular computer, I can't really message people back. Uh, I try through my iPad, some go through, and then when I go to hit reply, the message disappears. So if I don't respond back to you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's nothing personal, it's just that happens. Um, and then at work, it's it's hard for us to get onto you certain um, websites like YouTube. Um, just because of security protection and all that, I don't know. But anyway, um, so I do thank you uh, for all the subscribers and for watching my video, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much, bye.